This is a precious family legacy handed down for posterity. It bears witness to a history of exquisite craftsmanship, which saw the creation of magnificent palaces and marvelous landscapes. Over the centuries, scholars have measured every brick and tile, seeking to unveil their secrets. These design drawings are the key to understanding them. Through the heat of the summer of 2019, staff of the Beijing Cultural Relics Institute work on excavation sites at Yuan Ming Yuan Park, where the old summer palace ruins lie. The imperial gardens have long been ruins. Only part of the foundations and the general layout are still recognizable. These royal gardens were first built 300 years ago and destroyed in 1860 in the Second Opium War. The site was plundered for decades thereafter destroying all traces of the original appearance. To ensure the accuracy of their excavations and reduce the risk of further damage, the team need to use the original design drawings, called the Yongshu Lei Archives. For decades, people have tried to uncover the secrets beneath these ruins. The Yongshu Lei archives are the records of the Lei family. Yongshu means architect or architecture, and Lei is the surname of the Lei architectural family. For 200 years during the Qing dynasty, eight successive generations of the Lei family served as the chief architects of Yongshu Fang, which was in charge of the Qing imperial architecture design. They were responsible for the design, construction, and renovation of many important projects, including the Forbidden City, the Old Summer Palace, and the New Summer Palace. It came to be said that the Yongshu Lei were responsible for half of China's ancient buildings. Over their time in office, succeeding members of the Lei family designed numerous celebrated architectural works, but the design drawings they left behind have proved more precious. As the fifth generation of his family, Lei Jingxiu started to assemble the vast number of design drawings made by his ancestors and arrange for their conversion. Fortunately for us, they survived the ensuing decades of turmoil. They afford a glimpse into traditional Chinese architecture and the craftsmanship and ingenuity of their era. According to statistics, there is a total of 20,000 existing Yangshu Lei archives of which 15,000 are kept in the National Library of China. This is the Changjiang Mingsheng Tu. It was printed in the Qing Dynasty for six years. 它主要是画了长江中下游两岸的各种地理要素，比如南岳山，然后这个有武汉的黄鹤楼。The Yu Tu or Map Team at the National Library of China has a collection of around 100,000 ancient Chinese maps and design drawings. The Yu in Yu Tu means chariot. In ancient times, the Earth was sometimes seen as a chariot on which all life was carried. The Tu means picture or image. 
So Yu Tu was an image of the Earth, in other words, a map. In 2004, Bai Hong Ye graduated with a master's degree in geography and started to work in the map team at the National Library of China. Now, she is head of the department, responsible for the huge and priceless collection, including the 15,000 Yong Shi Lei archives. This is the first time we have a collection of the National Library of China. This is the first time we have a collection of the National Library of China. We have to make sure that the National Library of China is the first time to use the National Library of China. We have to make sure that the National Library of China is the first time to use the National Library of China. We have to make sure that the National Library of China is the first time to use the National Library of China. 这个圆明园，它现在在进行考古挖掘，然后就需要用到我们的样式图档。天津大学就用我们的样式图档，它培养了很多硕士、博士生，然后对古建筑进行研究。The survey and design drawings stacked in this small room make it even smaller. This is the Tianjin University School of Architecture. 你折过这个图？没有，一个男的没有。Hu Beijie is in discussion with her research students. The topic of discussion is this Yang Shi Lei document on the desk. 实际上，现在整个建筑学的这个课程体系，实际上是从西方过来的。我们是希望尝试说，我们的学生从一年级开始，他们就接触这些中国优秀的这些建筑作品，他们都是如何设计的，然后以这个为基础建构他们的知识体系、他们的审美。A core member of the young research team on Yang Shi Lei at Tianjin University, Hu Beijie. Studied under the renowned scholar of ancient architecture, Wang Qi Hong. Wang Qi Hong is professor of architecture at Tianjin University. There, he lectures on and researches the history and theories of ancient Chinese architecture. He is also known as a pioneer of contemporary Yang Shi Lei studies. This is from what era? You看这个就知道，地名有了，瓷器、瓷砖有了，还不叫陵，叫万年极地。然后这个地方有了，双山峪，但是没有西双山峪，这个可以判断是光绪元年的图。国家图书馆的图，全世界的图，大部分都是状
Bai Hongyue receives a call from the National Library's Exhibition Department and starts to make the preparations for a new exhibition. Yoshi The exhibition is scheduled to begin in two weeks. The restorer who has taken on this urgent task is Guo Zhixin. Though she looks very young, she has been in the restoration team at the National Library of China for nearly 10 years. An ordinary looking desk is the arena in which the restorer must grapple with their tasks. But the design drawing in question is much larger and more complicated than the relatively straightforward page repairs to an old book. To meet the challenge, Guo Zhixin plans to use the library's secret weapon. It is the one and only special device available to the restoration team. We usually as this particular drawing shows, most of the damage to the ancient documents occurs where the paper has been folded numerous times over centuries. After selecting the correct complement paper of the same color and texture as the original, the restorer cuts it into strips of appropriate lengths and widths with a one centimeter overlap. These are pasted onto the back of the drawing to connect the damaged segments and consolidate the folds. This may seem simple, but actually requires enormous patience from the restorer because any slight movement may affect the drawing as a whole. The parts that have been repaired may cause marginal misalignments in other sections and therefore require continual resetting, like a moving jigsaw puzzle, until the whole is reset with a perfect alignment of all the lines on the original. Since the National Library of China launched its restoration project for the Yongshu Lei archives in 2008, nearly 10,000 documents have been reborn. The efforts of the restorers have enabled more people to learn about this revered family of architects and establish a new field of Yang Shi Lei studies. In research on the Qing dynasty history, the history of ancient Chinese architecture, and the protection of architectural cultural relics, 
the Young Shirley archives have proved invaluable. As a member of the faculty at Tianjin University, Zheng Feng Wu has been dedicated to research on the Yuan Ming Yuan documents in the Young Shirley archives for the past few years. Tudanimia 但现在我却缺了一个非常重要的环节,就是没有实证。Zhong Feng Wu has looked through thousands of Yong Shu Lei items on the old summer palace. This has helped him construct a virtual version of the royal gardens as viewed by the craftsmen of the time. 这个可能看起来要可能要清楚一点，就是转的会慢一点。这个其实是乾隆时期在长春园里面兴建的一个呃湖中间的一个小岛，那么圆形的城台上面建了一个十字的方亭，也可以是楼阁。那么这个建筑
The severely damaged drawing has taken on a new lease of life. It will soon be on display to the visitors at the Museum of Chinese Gardens and Landscape Architecture. The National Library of China has strict security provisions for those items on temporary loan. Bai Hongyu and her colleagues escort the Yang Shirley archives to the museum and help its staff finalize the exhibition arrangements. Pinchang 你们看一下高度 Over two days, the staff members from the library and the museum arranged the 30-plus items. With this completed, the drawings will be open to the public at the Museum of Chinese Gardens and Landscape Architecture. The visitors will be able to appreciate close up these precious cultural relics. This展览实际上是用大众的视角来解读一个专业问题。Beijing has been a buzzing city for 600 years. Historical stories of these exquisite buildings may not be known to the residents. Still, the shape of every tile and the radian of every cornice can lead us to the treasures that the craftsmen of the past have left to posterity. The eight generations of the Yong Shi Lei family drew their blueprints representing a pinnacle in ancient Chinese architecture. This is where history is written in the landscape, as the ancestors pass on their culture in wood, stone, and clay. <laughs>